What's up, guys? I, uh, sorry I'm a little late right now. I, uh, I had to run in and grab something, but, um, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to start the new series of some videos that I've been wanting to do for the past couple of years now and have been really, really trying to figure out how I'm going to do this. Well, the only way I figured out how to do this is you just got to do it. So what I'm trying to start here is kind of a uh, Facebook, social media style ministry for young adults, generations like mine, even generations before and after, to try to put some perspective into the gospel, trying to see what we can do here. Um, so with that being said, I have asked a bunch of people how I should approach this, what I should do. I get a lot of opinions and uh, truth be told, I just got to go ahead and do it. So what I'm going to do now is just kind of go through the motions of what I'm trying to learn. By no means am I a theologian or a pastor or a preacher or anything like that. Just somebody who's trying to learn every day. And I'm hoping to take some people with me so we can all learn together. Um, I've kind of asked some advice and kind of asked some people and uh, what topics I should do. Um, I think I'm going to kind of leave that up to everybody who wants to join in with me uh, as far as what is on your mind, how we deal with some of this. Um, today I have learned that some of the stuff that I want to go through is judging, judgmental stuff. Um, and with that being said, it takes me right to the first thing that people in the Christian walk and Christian faith that say, we're going to go right to Matthew 7. Right there, at the top of the headline says, judging others. I think that is a go-to position for a lot of Christians and people who are non-believers is judging others. So with that being said, you can take this and you can twist it to whatever you want it to say. Obviously, what it's saying is do not judge or to you will be judged. For in the same way you judged others, you will be judged. And with this measure you use, it will be measured to you. So a lot of people like to say that and say, don't judge me. Don't judge me. Don't judge um, what I do. Don't judge me. Don't do this. But in reality, it's, it's really talking about being judgmental. As it goes on to say, why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? Basically, I think what it's saying there is you can't tell somebody what they should be doing if you're doing something yourself. We're all guilty of that. We're all guilty of that. And by no means is this saying, don't judge. It's just saying, don't be judgmental. What I mean by when it says don't judge is, or be judgmental, I mean, you can judge. Nowhere in this book does it say do not judge. We judge every day. We judge uh, what school you're going to go to what sports team you're going to like, what hobbies you're interested in. We all judge all the time. It's just saying being judgmental. You can't tell somebody to quit. Let's just say you're judging somebody on, oh, they're chewing tobacco all the time, yet you're going to smoke 73 cigarettes an hour. Come on. I mean, that's really what I think this is trying to say. And uh, how can you say to your brother, let, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? That's, that's basically what I was referring to in that last reference is we judge people so much, yet we don't take the time to look at our own flaws. How can we help anybody if at the same time we don't want to help ourselves? So what I think this is really trying to tell us is we got to start to, we got to help ourselves first. 
we've got to help ourselves first, then we can judge somebody else. But when we judge somebody else, that's kind of a harsh word. That means we need to help somebody else. So to help somebody else, we first got to look into our own selves. That's Matthew 7 through 3 on that one. And then 7 through 4 told us that how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your own eye, you hypocrite. First take the plank out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Now, these are in red letters. This was Jesus talking to us. He was telling, don't be a hypocrite. And that is a huge word in this verse. Don't be a hypocrite. That is really, really, really hard for a lot of us. That's hard for me. That's hard for me. Don't be a hypocrite. Don't tell somebody not to do this when you're just going to do what you want to do. How can you help somebody if you're not going to fix what you're going to do first? That's the biggest problem. And I see that in all walks of life. And if anybody knows me, I love everybody, every walk of life. But at the same time, I can still be a hypocrite at the same time. I can see people and say, I can't believe they're, oh, I just can't believe they're doing this. I can't believe they're doing that. At the same time, behind closed doors, something just as bad. And I guess I could take that all the way back to there is no sin greater than the other sin. We all sin. Every single one of us are sinners. We all make mistakes. We all fall short. But we want to always jump to the conclusion that by making ourselves feel better, we can judge somebody else by saying they're being bad. Like I said, back to this, it's no in no way saying don't judge because if we go back to, let me see here, John 7, 24. Now give me a second here because I still have to kind of look at my thing. I mean, I'm always the guy in church that the pastor's always going through scripture and he's going John Luke blah, blah, blah. and I'm like oh boy I'm still trying to get to John um so if we go judge by mere appearances stop judging by mere appearances but instead judge correctly what that's saying is you can't just judge somebody on a first appearance you've got to judge correctly and in order to do that first you better judge yourself. You better fix yourself and try to get that way so that you can judge others and help them. It's helping. It's judge is such a hard word, but we want to help other people. We can't help anybody if we're not going to help ourselves. In other senses, like I said, by no means is this anything saying don't judge. We have to judge. Now, if somebody was to walk down my driveway to my front door and have a pistol in their hand, I'm probably going to judge that person. That person probably needs to be judged right away. But I could, in order to help that person not to shoot me, I had better figure it out how I'm going to help this person. Like I said before, by no means am I a theologian or a pastor or anything else. I am just trying to put in how we could all learn together how to do this, how to walk this walk. My mission is to walk a little more like Jesus every day. I am going to continue to try to do that all the time. And this is why I'm trying to look at this. And, and by all means, if any of you guys got comments or anything like that to help me better understand this situation, I have open ears. I am always open to anybody else telling me what to do. My plan is to take all this and put a series, 
together, which I'm calling the Street Smart Christian, part of my ministry and hitting social media so that I can reach out to tons of people because I feel like social media at this point is ruling everything. And there is so much negativity and things like that that are going on on social media, but it's, we're all right there. We're plugged in. We're plugged in all the time, all the time, all the time. Instead of just putting quotes on there, let's get some people on here that we can talk about this. We can do this together. We can learn this together and maybe make it a little easier to understand than just the going to church, listening, trying to figure it out on our own. We could learn this all together. So what I'm going to try to do and what I'm going to do is start really studying in the word and hit heavy hitting topics. Like I said, I had a young man today tell me, let's tackle judging. I by no means even thought about what's going on in our crazy world right now or nothing like that. I just thought, let me try to hit this. I listened to a few preachers on um, YouTube, stuff like that. Got different perspectives on what they thought judging was, what they said about judging in the Bible. Um, I take it as the man that I'm trying to follow, Jesus Christ, that man judged nobody. Nobody. He didn't care what you did. As long as you were willing to accept him and follow him, he didn't care what you did. He didn't care. He don't care about your past, but he was able, he was already fixed so he could help those people. He could help those people fix themselves. But we can't do that with other people unless we try to fix ourselves. So that's ultimately what I'm trying to do. I am by no means perfect. I got more flaws than probably anybody listening in on this right now. I have been through it all. And when it comes to judging, I have felt myself slip a lot. But I will give myself this, that I do have a big enough heart that I always give everybody the benefit of the doubt. I have had mean words said to me. I have been thrown in the mud. Psst, just the whole drug through everything and still give people the benefit of the doubt. But I was never able to help those people. I would just hide until they went away. But now I've learned that to fix myself, not to judge other people, now I can start saying, hey, I think that you're going down the wrong road here, but I had to remove the plank or the log or whatever your Bible says it is out of my eye to be able to pick the piece of sawdust out of somebody else's eye. And I still probably will struggle with doing that because I can't fully do that. All I can do is try to help those people. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. I'm gonna to try to continue to walk a little more like the man and still try to help those being being judged. Um, the, we live in a time right now where it's so easy to judge. It is so easy to judge and I'm not gonna get political on this. I'm not gonna get any type of way on that other than you know your own heart. You know where you stand. So let's, let's take a look at that. And like I said before, we've got to learn to help ourselves in order to help others. Pull the plank out of our own eyes before we poke at somebody's speck in their eyes. I think that is a real thing that we really have to try to do. Pull the plank out of our eye before we look at the speck in somebody else's eye. Because really, that's what we got. We got a huge plank in our own eyes. We don't want to look at that because we don't want to see that. And we get hurt when somebody else tells us about that plank hanging out of our eyes. Well, let's try to remove that. And like I said, let's, but instead judge correctly. That's John 7, 24. Stop judging by mere appearances 
and let's start judging correctly. What he is just saying is what it says in Matthew 7, pull that plank out of your eye before you start poking at anybody else. I can't say that enough. We've all been there. We've all done the judging, but we need to stop using Matthew 7 as a crutch to say, I can do whatever I want to do because you can't judge. Mm, nah, no, 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 that's not what they're trying to say. That's not what they're trying to say. You can't just do whatever you want to do. You've got to figure out your sins, deal with your sins. Because your sins are no greater than anybody else's sins. So let's deal with our own sins before we go attacking everybody else's. That's what I'm really hoping to get out of this. Like I said before, I'm no theologian. I'm no pastor. I'm just a guy that's wanting to try to learn. And I'm hoping that... A lot of my Christian friends out there will be seeing this and they will put in their input, comment, tell me, oh, you said this wrong or you did that wrong or maybe that was right, that was good. I want to hear it all. I want to continue this series of videos. Like I said, I'm calling it the Street Smart Christian right now. I want to continue this series and keep going and we're going to tackle some heavy hitting subjects. For me, it'll be, I want to hit the subjects that hit close home to me and to everybody else. The next subject I want to tackle is lying, which I'm going to also incorporate with this judging thing. I'm going to start studying a little bit more on this judgmental stuff and judging. I'm going to hit lying. We all know we stand. We all know that we've told lies, and if we're going to sit here and say that, nah, well, I don't lie. I'm not a liar. I don't like liars, and I don't like thieves, and blah, 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 blah. But you're lying right now because we've all told those lies. We've all judged people. We've all done this. Now, let's take this step to learn, try to figure this out a little more so that we can go about it a better way, so that we can cut the lying out so we can maybe not judge as much judge nuts just because the guy's got a hundred tattoos and some earrings in his ears doesn't mean that's a bad guy but we got to learn to stop judging that way if we can do that i think this is going to go a really long ways i think this video these video series that I'm going to put on is going to go a long ways. I want a really heavy hit into the scripture. I want to really hit the truth. I want it all to be about the truth. I don't want to beat around the bush. I don't want to, let's say, get into the prosperity gospel. I'm, you know, I, obviously I want everybody who watches these videos to get something out of it. But I'm not trying to just make you feel good one day and then tomorrow you leave you with some questions. I mean, like I said, I want to leave this open. I want people to help me learn. If I can help somebody else learn, if somebody has questions, if somebody has an issue with what I'm, I want it all to be open. Now, with that being said, I don't want people just to come at me because they want to be mean. That's, that's not what I'm trying to get at. This is really, like I said, I'm really driving this towards the youth generation, I guess what they call it, Z now. I am a millennial, so a lot of the baby boomers, boomers right now just heard I'm a, ba a millennial, and they're going, oh, oh, boy, here we come from this whippersnapper. But I, I want everybody from the baby boomer generation to Generation Z, all of that, to join in with me. Let's get our Bibles out. If you don't have a Bible, there's Bible apps on the phone. There's all kinds of stuff. Let's go through this together and let's hit some let's hit some topics. I mean, like I said, if there are anybody out there that has some topics that they want to go 
through or we want to learn about or any questions, let's try to learn about it together. And then every other day or whenever I can put up these videos, like I said, this one was a little bit about judging. Um, like I didn't hit all the topics on it. I'm going to study in that a little bit more. This is kind of just an introductional video, but the next time I come on here, I want to hit judging and lying, 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 lying. That is a big one. A lot of people on here might be watching saying, Ooh, yeah, that's probably a sensitive subject to you because yeah, I have told some lies. Absolutely. I have told some lies lies that were brought about by fear because fear ultimately is a liar so when fear is a liar it's going to make you lie and where does fear come from fear comes from the enemy he wants you to fear everything so he's going to put things in your head to make you not tell the truth so that you don't get yelled at or you don't get in trouble ultimately you get in trouble and you end up losing a lot of stuff it takes over your life you lose a lot of stuff so that's something i want to tackle i'm not just going to sit here and talk about lying is got me in trouble i want to hit it as close as it can to the bible too and then compare it to some things that i went through um some things that i've gone through just recently i mean it's it's something, but I, like I said, I've been wanting to do this for a couple of years. I kind of fell off the horse, but as I can say with a lot of my, um, family and family friends, just cause you fall off that horse, doesn't mean you just get back on it. Even though that horse could be the meanest horse in the world, you get back on that horse and then you take the reins and you go. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm not going to hold back. I'm not going to just sit here and do nothing about it. I, I've been talking about this for a while. I want to do it. Like I said, I would like, I got a lot of friends out there on Facebook right now that are very, very good. Um, biblical Christians, a lot of people that put a lot of good stuff out there. I'm really hoping that you can help me out on this. Send me messages, send me, um, comments on this. Um, I'm just kind of breaking out of the shell, trying to not to be so nervous about doing this, but I really, really think that together we can tackle a lot of these subjects. And if you don't have a church and you're not into a church, yeah, I would, I would um, hope that you could go out there and find one. But if you don't, if we got to get some of the word in, I hope that with these videos and what I'm doing, I don't know if I'll be live every time or if I'll just put videos together. I'm hoping that we can learn together and we can get this book back open because I think that's really what we need. And I don't want to push people away from it anymore. I want to bring people in. Um, and then we could, we could really, really learn from each other. I hope that I can be invited and people will really, really want to go along this journey with me. I'm going to put my, um, kind of like my little trailer thing. I got an iPhone now. I've never had an iPhone. So I was playing with it the other day. There's a thing called iMovies on there and I made a trailer and I, man, I was really into it. Really cool. I thought it turned out really cool. It's kind of going to go along with what I'm trying to do right here. Um, I'm not doing this for any kind of benefit. I just want to do this so that we could all learn together. And like I said, I know there's a lot of young people out there. I hope that the young people out there might like and share this and send it out there so we can all learn this together because that's all we can do. That's all we can do. Learn this together and get this done. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. I love you. I miss you. Thank you for your comment right there. That's awesome. Um, thank you, Justin Jones. Man, I haven't seen you in since high school. Thank you very much. Um, I just, uh, like I said, this is something that's been on my heart. God has put this heavy on my heart for the last couple of years. I fell off that horse, but I'm getting back on that horse. I'm going to take it by the reins, and we are going to 
we're gonna ride this thing to the ground and um, really get this going like I said I hope that I you guys could leave me some comments some some information out there I'm also gonna be working on my own testimony that's probably gonna be one of the hardest things that I got to do but I think it would be beneficial for me and really get my story out there so there's a better understanding of where I'm coming from when we go through a lot of this stuff because whoo boy have I been I've been through the mud but you know what it's not about it's not just about that I mean I'm, God took me to places to put me where I need to be right now um but I just like I said I, I've been through where I have been through now because God wanted to be where I'm at right now He's got more plans for me. I know this. He often I look up and I say, what now? What do you want me to do? Why did you do? But you know what? That's not up to me. That's up to the man. That's up to him. That's up to God. Um, I'm going to continue on this path. I know that a lot of people met me when I was on this path. And then that's when I fell off that horse. And I'm just here right now to let those people know that I've wiped the mud off my face. I'm back on that horse and we're going to go through it together. We're going to get through this. We're going to go through it all together. So like I said, hopefully I can keep, keep this going. I, I know I'm going to keep trying and we're all going to, we're all going to get through it. Um, like I said, I'm going to put a series of videos through here. It's all going to be on my phone. I'm sorry. I don't own a computer. I don't have the cameras. I don't have the sound system. I'm in my car right now because I could wedge the phone in my steering wheel. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's how I got to do it. Sorry. I was reading one of the comments here. Um, I got a wedge in my steering wheel right now, so I, this is my studio in my car here. Um, like I said, uh, I want to read one more time Matthew 7 on kind of the whole thing. Like I said, I was in church today spitballing some ideas, and, and somebody texted me back and said, "Let's do. you should do it on judging. I said, okay, so do not judge, or to you will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? Like I said, I've studied this a little bit. I've looked at other scriptures, just like I said in, in John 7, 24, where it says you better judge correctly. It's not, by no means is any of this saying we're not going to judge. We judge all the time. Like I said before, you judge where you're going to go to school. You judge your sports teams. You judge, you judge all that kind of stuff. It's saying don't be judgmental. So just because you see somebody doing something that you don't like, you better check out that plank in your eye before you start poking at that speck of sawdust in their eye. We cannot, we cannot just go around pointing fingers when ultimately the huge foam finger is pointed right at us. Um, let's, let's learn to, let's learn to fix us. Let's, let's work on us and then we can go on and help others, not judge them, help them. I think that's a, that's a really big, that's a really big thing that we got to do. Like I said, I'm calling this the street smart Christian. Um, and I'm not calling that because I'm the street smart Christian because I, I, I'm not, but I want to make it more about us people, the younger generation, even though I want some of the older generations, the boomers, the X's, the Y's, the Z's, I want them all to kind of join in. And like I said, I'm really hoping for some of the boomers to fill me in with some content to help me out with this thing. A lot of you guys in the Generation Z, um, ask, you know, say some stuff. Tell me something. Tell me what's bugging you. Tell me what's going on. Let's try to tackle this. Um, another thing is, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this once a week, once every other day. I don't want to really hit it every day because I want to give myself enough time to 
get some topics, get some stuff, really hit the scripture, get into the word, get the truth and um, hit it, hit it on that level. Um, I don't just want to jump into it. I like listening to commentary. I listen to a lot of my mentors. I listen to a lot of Ravi Zacharias. Um, yes, I even get into the MacArthur's. I get into um, having a brain fart right now, but the uh, a lot of the other heavy hitters out there, um, Spurgeon, um, the Scottish guy. You guys will help me out with that one. I know you will. Um, really listening to those a lot of Francis Chan a lot of those guys I like to hear their input on stuff so I can learn a little bit more and then I can go into the scripture and I can learn a lot of this too um, like I said the next topic that I want to bring in is a little bit more on the judging and then lying 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 that's a big it's a big subject it's huge. It's been huge in my life. It was still huge in my life. Have I, I've told a lot of fibs. I've told a lot of white lies. I've told a lot of big lies. Um, and I'm working on myself to where that doesn't have to be something anymore. I, I well, it's a matter of fact, I've already made that decision. It's not, I'm, I'm, I got a whole take it or leave it mentality now which is really hard for me because I'm such a person that I want everybody to like me. But God has put it on my heart that says, um, nobody's going to like you if you're lying. So let, let, let's try this in a different approach. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I want to hit. That's what I want to tackle. We're going to hit a lot of other subjects. Like I said, I hope I get a lot of comments and a lot of, things feedback from you guys we're gonna have some fun with this we're gonna make some jokes we're gonna have some fun we're gonna laugh because it's okay to laugh it is absolutely okay to laugh um i don't know if i'm gonna have a set time yet what time i'm gonna start to do this like i said i'm doing this from my cell phone i just got a new iphone because i dropped my android off a skid loader and wasn't so nice to me it uh, can't see it no more so I am using this phone right now one of these days I may get a computer with a camera on there and be able to really spread it out maybe get some notes on the screen do some stuff like that um, Alistair Beg, thank you so much Marcus Johnson this guy right here we used to have some late night talks we used to both deliver beer together, and um, a lot of times we'd be the last two to come in. We'd stand in the parking lot and talk to each other, not even knowing that both of us would kind of end up being on the same walk of faith. We would just sit there and have friendly conversation. Marcus Johnson, thank you so much. Alistair Begg, that is, is it. And yes, Derek, I was waiting for your comment on the iPhone. Um, I wasn't very happy at AT and T <laughs> when I went there. I had the uh, I had the Note Eight, and the the gal and the guy in there said, "Have you ever tried the iPhone?" And I said, "I can't try the iPhone. There are people out there that will disown me if I try the iPhone." And they said, "Well, let, let's let's let you just give this one a try." Okay, so here I am. Here I am. Um, I got it. I got it, Derek. I am sorry. I am sorry. I am on the dark side. Yes, I am, Derek. Thank you so much, Mary Miller. I love you so much. I am so happy I'm able to get back in church and uh, get those hugs. I missed those hugs through this whole virus thing. I missed them, and I thank you so much. You are definitely an influence. You and Rala and, and all the girls are definitely a huge influence on me. And thank you so much for your kind words and your kindness. Um, but uh, Derek, I'm sorry I'm on the dark side, buddy. Um, I had to do it. I had to do it. I, I don't... It, it, and I, I will say, I will say, this one has been a lot easier to use than normal. So... So I, uh, I had to do it. Um, 
But like I said, back on topic, I'm really, really hoping to get this going. Um, I don't know where it's going to go from here. If uh, the Carrie Underwood Jesus is going to take the wheel, I'm going to let him take control of this whole thing. Um, he'll put it on my heart, I'm sure, like he has every day for the past two years. And I'm just going, oh, yeah, but I'm not good enough. I can't do it. I don't have the words. I don't have the words. I don't have the words. Well, the person telling me I didn't have the words was the guy who didn't want me to get the words out. So now we're going to shove this one in the enemy's face and say, here we go. I'm sure it's only going to get tougher now. My phone will probably crash at the end of the night, but it's only going to get tougher. We're going to get through it. Um, we're all going to learn this together. Like I said, please, 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 please send me your comments. Send me your topics. Send me some stuff we should all study together. I'm trying. I mean, negativity is, I will bring that in to a point. If I say something wrong that you don't agree with, let me know. But don't be mean about it. There's no need to be mean. I'm not mean to anybody. I don't have a mean bone in my body. So, we, um, let's just, uh, let's just learn this together. Like I said, I kind of tried to get on point with the, the judging thing. There's so much more that is involved with this. Um, I do like the, uh, Matthew 7, 6, where he says, do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw pearls to the pigs. He's talking about people. The man here is talking about people. Don't give dogs what is sacred. So do not, just don't, you, you got to, just don't be throwing it out there to somebody who's just gonna. We gotta help these people, we gotta help them, but don't give pearls to pigs. So don't be giving all our good information to people who have all the good information and giving all your sacred stuff to the dogs. I mean, let's let's fix ourselves and work together and get everybody on the same table. I mean, that's that's something that I think is going to be really really don't give to somebody that's just going to trample it under their feet. Don't just give say ah, throw it away. But just get, let's get that word out there. I, I really want to plant the seed. The seed is the biggest thing that I think is big. I got a seed planted into me. Oh, man. Probably six, seven years ago. And I can I give all the credit and I give all the glory to God. But I had a, a group of people and um, some very good friends of mine that really, really incorporated this into my mind. Um, that really got me on this path. These people, I will always hold close to my heart. Um, you know who you are. I know you know who you are. And uh, you guys will always, you always will hold something really close to my heart. Um, yeah, I, I uh, like I said, I'm going to, I don't know, you guys give me your input. We do 30 minute videos, 45 minute videos, hour videos, whatever you guys want to do. And I'm really going to script it a lot better than it is today. Cause like I said, I just really, it was really weighing on my heart. I had to get this thing blown wide open. I had to get it open. I just didn't want to come out here and just be mama, 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 mama. I just really wanted to get the conversation going. Let's get it out there. Um, let's, let's get it. Let's get it going. Uh, I think we can do this together. I know we can do this together. I love each and every one of you guys out there. Um, and I believe that it just, if I, I just, I need your guys' support. Um, and we'll get it going, we'll get it going. Um, before I get off of here, I want to first off, like say, thank you guys. Thank each and every one of you out there. There's a lot of you on here that are commenting and doing stuff on there, watching right now that have been a major role, a major influence on my life and my spiritual walk and my faith walk. I also would like to know that this is not a, 
denominational videos. This is not one side or the other. This is strictly going to be a relationship with Jesus Christ. That is all I am doing. That's all I want is a strict relationship with Jesus Christ. There's no labels on it. There's nothing. I don't care where you come from. I don't care what you did. I welcome everybody. Along with what we're talking about, there will be no judging. There will be no judgmental stuff. Um, with that being said, if you're on here and there's people commenting or there's people on there and, and you might have a different view on some, please keep those comments to yourself. Uh, we're all in here for love. That is the biggest thing that we need to do is love everybody, especially with everything that's going on right now. This has got to be about love and learning. Um, so let's go go with that. Let's go with that. And um, I love all you guys. And uh, I will close this out in a word of prayer. Father God, we love you so much. And I thank you for this opportunity that you've given me to do what I, I need to do. I know you've been putting it on my heart. And I know that you've sacrificed everything that you have so that people like me can have an opportunity to do this kind of stuff, get your word out there, get the truth out there. I know that it's going to be by you holding me by the hands and pulling me through this and using me as a great tool in your giant toolbox that this is going to work. Father, we just, we just, I want to say thank you for each and every one of these people that have been on here. I love them all so much. And I just, I just pray that you're with each and every one of them and everyone in the Facebook world, in the world. I pray that you're in their hearts, wrapping your arms of love around each and every one of them. And I pray that you just, just come to them in their times of need, help them with their questions and help us get it out there. Lord, I just, I just want to thank you again for every opportunity that you gave me and, and what you've brought me through to get to this point. And it's through your precious and powerful name that I pray these things. Amen. All right, guys. Um, I will update everybody on when the next video is. Like I said, if you've got questions, comments, or anything that you want to add in, the next session will be a little bit more about the judging, but a big subject, lying. Lying, lying, lying. There's people out there that are just like man i can't wait to see what this guy's got to say about that but i'm gonna tackle it i'm gonna tackle it heavy i'm gonna put some personal stuff in there i'm gonna you know incorporate some of my things in there a little bit of my testimony and then later on i will be putting a full video on about my entire testimony for all those who might want to join in on that and then we will learn together we will get this things going until then I love each and every one of you. I hope that you guys have a awesome Monday. I know a lot of you guys are going, ah, Monday really is going to bring Monday up. Are you kidding me? It's going to be an awesome Monday. We are all, we, we, we wake up and we decide how we're going to do it. We're going to decide how we're going to walk through it. Hopefully each one and everybody can learn that if you wake up and get into the word, let's get out there. Let's tackle it. Let's do the thing. And, um, Let's get through it. I will keep everybody updated on the next video. It, I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or Tuesday. I'm not sure, but I'm excited. I'm going to start. Uh, Monday is my favorite. Okay. Well, then, then let's try. Okay, Meredith, since you gave me um, 17 kids on the vacation Bible school last year, I, I think I can cater to you a little bit more. So let's... Um, Let's just get it. Let's get this Monday. Let's let's go. And um, I'm going to try to, like I said, I will let you guys know when the next video is going to be. I'm going to make this a regular thing. And hopefully I can develop a bigger audience. When this is done, I'm going to save it. You guys are more than welcome to like, save, or send this out. Share it. Um, let your friends know, let people know that, uh, there is this lame dude, just kidding. This pretty awesome guy, actually, <laughs> that's going to be online, going to be doing this. I'm going to learn how to maybe incorporate this into Instagram, um, Twitter, things like that. Try to get it out there. Let's get the word out there. Let's get everybody. I love you all. We'll see you next time. Have a great night.
Until next time, we'll do this again on Street Smart Christian. Love you guys.